Hey, what's up guys? In this Lightroom Classic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Lens Correction tool. Before you start editing an image such as changing the color, exposure, increasing the saturation or whatnot, there's usually a few basic adjustments that you need to clean up or start your image out right. Three of them are detail, lens correction, or transform. It could be one or the other or a combination of all of them. But right now we're going to start with lens correction. I'll talk about detail and transform in another video. So lens correction, as the name applies, it applies a correction or removes any distortion caused by the lens. So I'm going to click on this enable profile corrections and you're going to see a little bit of a change in the distortion of the image here. And let me click on it right now. And you may have not noticed it. it's a subtle change. Here's the before. And here's the after here's the before and here's the after and a more important comparison is the enable profile correction it also removes some of the vignetting that's caused by the lens so you can see in the top left corner here compared to this one this one's darker as well as the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner you can see it's darker here on the before image and on the after image it's brighter so lens correction, it removes the distortion caused by a lens as well as vignetting. You can also manually change the distortion if you want after you apply the lens correction or you can change the vignetting. Now regarding the lens correction options, usually Lightroom will automatically select the embedded lens and apply the lens correction profile. So in my case it chose Sigma and the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter lens and then it has a profile but this profile is actually wrong usually Lightroom does a good job but this lens Sigma it's very similar to another one which is called the Tamron SP 24 to 70 and this is the actual correct lens profile but usually Lightroom does a good job of selecting the correct lens profile as long as it's embedded now there's this other option that's called remove chromatic aberration so chromatic aberration it's caused by lens diffraction or a lens not being able to pass through all the light or all the color that's coming through light through the lens so in this case you can see this blue hue that's on the edge it's usually on the edge of surfaces where there's like a high contrast area here there's no lens there's no chromatic aberration, but here there is, as well as right here. You can see the blue hue here, as well as kind of like a reddish or orange. The most common colors for chromatic aberration are purple and green. But anyways, I'm going to click on this remove chromatic aberration and watch what happens. It removed the hue or the fringing that's caused by the lens. So here's the before and here's the after. Here's the before. And here's the after so these changes they're not highly noticeable but these subtle changes they do improve your images in the long run at the same time you don't always need to enable profile corrections if the distortion isn't highly noticeable or remove chromatic aberration if you're looking at the subject or high contrast areas from afar but if it's a close-up image and you can highly notice the chromatic aberration what's also called fringing then you should enable it now there's also manual options to remove the lens distortion right here so you can remove it by clicking on the manual button right here and you can change the lens distortion and you want to constrain the crop if you see some of that white background let me just reset this if Lightroom doesn't do a good job with the automatic remove chromatic aberration you can also manually remove the chromatic aberration I'll show an example in this image right now let me first turn on enable profile corrections you can see a huge difference especially in the highlights here and the shadows and then I'm going to select Tamron and now I'm going to go right here and you can see a little bit of chromatic aberration and I'm going to click on it and you can see Lightroom did a good job of removing it. But if you want to manually select it, I'll unclick this. I'll go to manual. I'll click on the eyedropper tool. And then I'll click on this purplish color. This purplish chromatic aberration. 
and there I selected it and now you can see Lightroom did like a did an outward glow of this peach color which it didn't do a good job so I need to change the purple hue range right here to make it look better and then I can select the amount if I want but three looked good so let's see the before and after of the automatic actually let me remove this lens distortion right here now go to manual now you can see the before and after so that's how you do manual chromatic aberration but from what I find Lightroom does an excellent job of removing chromatic aberration automatically now you can see in this image when I applied the enable lens correction it did correct the distortion let me apply my own distortion just to play around with it but one thing it didn't do is it didn't level out this image let me go to this image right here let me click on enable lens correction so it just removes the distortion but it doesn't correct like the layout or this perspective and the way you can change that is by using the transform tool right here which we'll discuss in another video and if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.